Jim from Javelin here with another SolidWorks tech tip. As you're probably already aware, you can insert a sketch picture by going to Tools, Sketch Tools, and then Sketch Picture. For this example, I'm going to use a nice high contrast image. New in 2014, you'll see we have this image resizing bar. So I can drag that to a, a point, then I can drag this to say the, the top of that. And I can set my height in here, we'll make it one meter. I can also reposition it, I can change the angle if I want to. Now, an odd thing to notice is that there aren't any arrows here to advance to the next screen. So I'll just click OK. Now, while I'm in this, I can, I can trace this image if I want to. Now it's going to be very easy, obviously, on these outer sections, but in this intersection there's a lot of detail. So I want to be able to do that quickly, and I'm not too concerned about getting it exact. So what I'm going to do is there's a utility in SolidWorks called Auto Trace. So if I go to Tools Add-ins, and then I go to Auto Trace, I can click on that and then click OK. <coughs> and that enables the, uh, that enables the tool. So to actually use it, I'm going to double click on the picture to bring me back to this menu here. But you'll notice I now have the arrows that I pointed out weren't there earlier. So I'm going to click to the next screen. And this is going to give me a couple of different options. This lets me select um, different areas of my image. <coughs> if I were to do a window select, I could select a window, a region in which that I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be tracing. In this case, since my since the since what I'm sketching goes right to the very edge of my image, this probably isn't the best option because I can't really draw a window going directly into that corner. I could use a polygon to do that, or I can use one of these eyedroppers, and I can just pick on a region and then say pick trace or begin trace, and you'll notice that it traces where there's areas of high contrast, which is why you want to use an image that has high contrast. If I zoom in, you'll notice that some of these regions it could bear a little bit, it could, it, it could bear some improvement. So I have these sliders here. I can adjust the brightness of the image, which adjusts the sem sensitivity, and you can see how, how the shape of it changes as I do that. I can adjust image contrast, and you can see down the bottom here, color tolerance kind of see how that uh, that does its thing and then this recognition tolerance so I can adjust these sliders until I get something approximately what I'm looking for and then when I'm happy I can click apply and then OK clicking apply is totally optional okay so now I'm gonna go in here and edit this because although it's probably close enough I wanna see if there's some improvements I can make so Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right-click on my, or I'm going to, first off, I'm going to try and drag this spline. Now, it is a spline, but the problem with it is that as I drag it, it moves as a single entity. If I drag the end point of it, it doesn't, it doesn't, unlike most splines, it doesn't give me those control points. And I also can't right-click and say show control points because it's missing from my menu. In some instances, I can say simplify spline, and it gives me the option just click OK and now I have control points which I can adjust. In some cases I'm not as lucky. If I right click on it and say simplify spline it doesn't work. So in a case like this if I really wanted to uh, to get that fixed since it's just a single spline it's easy enough just to delete and then replace with another spline. When I'm happy with my image, I can just do an extrude. And there you have it. 